Hello and welcome. We're gonna talk about sports today with Airbud. Airbud. Does he dribble? No, but he might drool a little bit. Airbud was released in 1997 and is a classic story of a dog that could play basketball. Now, of course, as well, besides this movie, this spawned a whole franchise of the Buddy films, some that we will be discussing later on this year, unfortunately. Let's see, you got the big fella, Butterball. You just can't seem to fill this pup up. Honey, I can't find a matching shoe. Oh. B-Dog is a b-ballin' home dog, who the kids say is all about the bling bling. Buddha is one of them Zen puppies. You know, always meditating and doing that Exhale. yoga stuff. Downward dog. Mud Bud? Well, his name says it all. He'd take mud over a milk bone any day. <laughs> and last but not least, Rosebud. Don't let her pretty looks fool you. She's as feisty as her brothers. I think because the Buddy films and franchise, they aren't looked at with the same quality that Airbud was looked at. It made me forget that Airbud is actually a fantastic film. <laughs> I went in watching Airbud, not really remembering much as I did see it when I was young. And I do remember when we had our dog, we had a golden retriever as well, and we would always play with him and try to teach him to bounce the ball back like Airbud did. So that was a really, really great memory that I had. So I knew that this film was still important to me in some way but I didn't remember about it and I thought it was just the nostalgia glasses that this film was just a childhood favorite and it wasn't as good as I remembered it, but I was wrong. <laughs> Thankfully, I was wrong. It is about a boy and a dog who come together and through the love of basketball, they're able to bond. And it's a really cool film. It really is. I like the idea of it. This dog could really play basketball and they decided to create a whole film and use him and have a really great story. It's not just focused on the sports, and that's the one thing I like about it, because I'm not that big a sports fan. I enjoy playing games at times, but I can't sit down and watch a game of football or basketball or anything. It's not exciting to me. Same thing with sports movies. They could go either way. And this one had enough of an enriching story, and plus it's dogs. I love dogs. So that's a great thing about it. And the characters were fantastic. They really did a good job. I hated, hated, hated the villain. He was terrible. He's a clown. Again, why? Why? It's an association with clowns. If you hate being a clown so much, then why did you go into the profession in the first place? I don't understand why there's so many clowns in this world, especially when they're universally hated, apparently. But he's a clown, and he doesn't treat Airbud well, and he kicks him out, leaves him abandoned on the side of the road. The poor dog. Thankfully, our family is able to find him, and they're able to slowly bring him into their life, even though the mom isn't a fan of it he's able to still be part of theirs and it's all about him bonding with our main character good boy good boy and the game that brought them together you like basketball <laughs> mom do you remember when i used to have a hamster you want another hamster not exactly hey boy come again come again Josh and him are able to work together, man's best friend, boy to dog, to be able to improve each other's lives. And it's a really, really wonderful story. And justice gets served in the end. And it's just fantastic. They really did a good job. I really enjoyed this movie. And I went into it with no expectations that helped because that helped me enjoy it even more. So this one definitely, I love Air Bud. It is still fantastic. It still holds up really well in my opinion and you should definitely check it out. Tomorrow we're gonna take a look at Dinosaur. And I'm really interested in that because we have the ride all about it in Animal Kingdom. So 
stay tuned and as always I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.